Good morning, man. 25 gamers. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a blitz of the day today from the 4-4 formation. Uh, if you guys know, I really am big on the 4-4 every year. Uh, a formation that is very intimidating in Man 25. This formation can be found in the 4-3 playbook. And it's also, the playbook we're actually using right now is the Prima app approved defensive playbook that you can download for free on the Madden Share page. And guys, if you do not know who Prima is, if you guys go to www.maddentips.com Those are the two guys that have designed this playbook for you. It's battle tested and very good and also guys be sure to check out their website so that you can sign up for their online community so you can play really good gamers that don't quit and don't cheat but now for today let's get into this zone blitz and this is the pressure play we like to go over all right so this zone blitz sending five and we're going to show you what's running as standard and you see it's going to get left edge pressure sometimes this is not every time. This is, you know, sometimes, especially if we want to base a line and press so that they never know that we're in a cover two deep look, this blitz will not, it will not come in. You see, we get picked up, and then it's easy for Joe Flacco to deliver a, a drag route. But if we want to, like I said, if we want to let that blitz angle creep closer to the line like that, this blitz angle, it only works sometimes. You see there, it does not work giving Joe Flacco very plenty of time to get the ball out of his hands. So we're going to set it up so that it does work. And all we need to do to do this is we're going to re-blitz Kyle Williams here on the left edge. And then we're going to take Moats here. We're going to put him in a curl to flat zone. We're going to move him back off the line four yards. And this is going to allow him to play out routes on the outside on the left while still getting pretty good pressure off the, off the left edge here. So let's show, it to you, show you that again. We're gonna, just going to re-blitz Williams here. And we're going to take Moats here. Move him to the left a couple of steps here. Put him in a purple zone. And at the snap of the ball, you see we're going to get left edge pressure. I don't know what happened on that. Why my, my, my player did not come in properly. Um, I think it has something to do. Oh, I forgot to spread my defensive line. I'm sorry, guys. You do need to spread your defensive line. And now you see the pressure coming in off the left edge. So that's the one thing that you do you do need to do in this playbook or in this formation. You need to spread your defensive line for those specific blitz. We actually did a scheme of the week on this 4-4, and you can check that out in the archives on my YouTube channel. But remember, in, in those, we didn't spread the line. This you will need to for this blitz to work properly. But you see, when it works good, you're sending five guys and you're getting one guy free at the quarterback. This is the basic blitzing concept that has ran rampant through Madden 25. If you want to get two guys free, you're going to base a line, crash your defensive line out, and then you're going to put moats here in any zone you want. For this example, we're going to put him in a purple zone. And you're going to see you're sending six guys and you're going to get two free. Why is it important to get two free? Well, earlier we saw that when I sent one guy free it was good but when my opponent blocks a halfback he'll be able to pick up this pressure and now he'll have plenty of time to to maybe hit me over the seam or wherever he decides to go so now when i'm sending two free if they're blocking a running back this won't stop the pressure and it's only a couple of adjustments and you see you know the pressure will still come in on off the edge you need to uh, I would recommend you baseline and press just so that the formation doesn't do any glitchy things uh, that it's been known to do for some reason. And there you see we get the two guys free off of the double edge pressure there. So just remember, I personally like to baseline and press at a 4-4. It's not always necessary, but in my opinion, it, it's always preferred. So, so thanks for watching today, guys. And we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Be sure to check out some of the other content I have up already. And I hope that it helps you improve your game in Man 25. If you have any questions or need further explanation, be sure to hit me up in the comments below. Or check out some of the links in the description. Maybe they can answer those questions you have. Thank you guys so much for another great opportunity to share some blitzes with you. And we'll see you guys later on in the day where we break down some of our daily shows. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow.